hopefully I didn't... Did I... I don't think I took that kid's uh, life savings. I think I did that for the Chivo, but I think... I think we're good, right? Better check. There we go. Good boy. And look at the... Yep. So I'm not sure if I did that either. And just because I'm paranoid, I'm going to drop the, uh, another save over the top of the one we just did. Very sisters house. Now I could be wrong, but I think the weakest enemies might be near the church. I might want to just like double check um, how much um, experience each of these drop. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit harder, but... Oh, the tri-chop. Okay, so Cloud has killed, um... Uh, that's killed three. I gotta keep a tally of that. Okay, obviously we don't want them dropping that much XP. I wonder if... You know, like, say you get five enemies, and then you kill like four of them and then you run, you run away. Would that count? Would that count? I don't know. Hey kids. <laughs> the fruity. Okay. I think um, Aerith's uh, church is prominently in the movie as well. Advent Children, I believe is what it's called. Now this is the outside. We can't get out of uh, Midgar yet. But uh, yeah. We will make our way out here. Now this could be like a safe zone. My safe space. Yeah, okay. Come on. We're gonna make Cloud big and strong. So then he basically butchers everything for the rest of the game. It's gonna be so good. We got a thief. Vice. Alright. Fourth enemy killed for Cloudy Boy. 24. Hmm. We don't wanna ra we don't wanna raise their level up too much. The thing is, I'm not sure if it's going to register an enemy kill 
if you run away from the battle. That's, that's my concern. I wish there was a way to figure out how many enemies you've killed as well. But, uh, yeah. Fifth enemy killed. Can you get... Can you let Ares, Aerith's have some crumbs there? There we go. Aerith got a crumb. Okay, so they're 24 each. I think there's like a um, little, like... Little, little guys that they try to um, throw fire at you. Just some little guys, those little guys. Number seven. Cloud, just let her have it. Good. Two compared to seven. I wonder if there's like a way of, of, um, I don't think there is a way of seeing how many enemies you've killed. No. This is unfortunate. I think there is a way, like a, a, an NPC that you can speak to that tells you how many... Um, you killed. I think it's in, um, you know, that military town. Uh oh. I'll be taking my antidote. It's not brave for Cloudy Boy. Oh, did I not get back the antidote? Hmm, okay. I might want to drop a save here. I don't want, like, nice items being taken from me. It's fine. I wonder what the, the enemies are like in this screen, actually. Don't, don't pinch me? Okay, good. One to cloud. Phoenix down. Um, mm, no bueno. Okay, I, I get it back. I get it back. 
Aerith got her third. So as long as I get the item back. I think um, those enemies can be morphed into speed drinks. Yes. I prefer to have a guide in front of me for that sort of um, the, the morph guide, but we're not going to get the morph materia for a very long time, if I recall correctly. Ten to Cloud, the four to Ares. Maybe I should um, keep running away until I find the um, the enemy formation with five. Hmm. I guess at the end of the day it doesn't matter. There's also some enemy drops that you might get at, at random, so... Nope. Don't let you have my tent. So we'll go through here and check what enemies are here. Of course, there's the house enemy. I will likely just run away. Yeah, I don't like that getting pincered. Number five to Aerith. Clouds on to thirteen. Gonna have a lot of gill. Makes me wonder, do we have like spare materia slots? No. Mm. Yes, join the Discord. I don't hassle you like in other Discords to do stuff. <laughs> like, there'll be days of inactivity. Let me go, Hell Bomber. Please let me leave. Thank you. There's too high of a chance I'll be seeing the, um,. The Hell House, so... Just get a cheeky rest in. What could be better, Final Fantasy 7 on a Sunday? Mm. 
nostalgia. Get frozen. Number fourteen for Cloud, number six for Eris. That seal evil uh, limit break is surprisingly useful in certain situations. But you kind of, um, you have to commit to a level, like level 1, 2, 3, or 4, so, in that respect, with Aerith, Aerith, yeah, I keep saying Aerith, uh, but, um, oh, that's not good. Stop stealing my stuff. Stop stealing. Dummy. 15 for Cloud. 7 for Ares. What was I about to say? Um, I had a point. I had a point. Let me see if I can re recall it. No. I can't recall it. Must have been that important. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, um, committing to the limit break levels, right? Um. Number 8 for Ares. Number 16 for Cloud. With Ares, though. Um. You don't have it for too long, but her level 1 uh, limit breaks. I mean, compared to the other levels, like, um, I think it's... Yeah, the level 3 limit breaks for uh, Ares are just so much better. But of course, her... Her... Level 4, the Great Gospel, is just, uh... Psycho. It's basically uh, invulnerability, from what I recall. So, that's pretty neat. Seventeen. Number nine for Aries. Number eighteen for Cloud Boy. That was another thing. I think I I think I keep saying Aerith all the time because I believe that's how it's um meant to be spelt in the Japanese version. So, but I'll, I'll try and get it, I'll try and remember, Eris, Ares, Eris, Eris. Number 10, number 19. Fair way to go, but this is all for the, the greater good. This is all to turn my characters into war machines, basically. I remember um, Final Fantasy IX 
Was it nine? I'm pretty sure it was nine. And this is like before retro achievements were even a thing, right? It had a um, particular sword that you could claim after a boss battle. But you had a time limit in order to get there. So wait, wait, wait that was Cloud. 20. Ferris, 11. 21. I think it was the Excalibur 2 sword. And you had to reach a certain area um, within a certain amount of hours in the game. And it was just a ridiculous um, thing to, to, to do. I mean, if you, if you were a true die-hard Final Fantasy fan, it's, it's, it's a cool little thing to try to go for. I admit. You know, like um, in Suikoden 2, going for uh, completing Clive's story. Um, and that's like multiple... Um, story events that are triggered by the amount of time that you spend in the game. Very tight um, triggers, by the way. I mean, it's, it's kind of neat, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, this isn't fun. It's very grindy. Alright. 22 for Cloud. 12 for Aeris. Quite happy to grind Final Fantasy 7. It's it's uh, enjoyable for me. There are other games where the grinding is absolutely not enjoyable. I kind of enjoy like knowing that I've got this goal that I want to re you know reach the level three limit breaks for these two, and knowing that it's I, I believe it is likely that it unlocks like the higher level limit breaks for characters I haven't met yet. So, I mean, um, I'm screwed when it comes to Barrett and Tifa, because I've already met them. But for all others, it shall turn them into war machines. It's going to be great. Thirteen. Twenty four for Cloud. And I just realized I should probably be Yeah. So wait, wait. Yeah, they'll do. Yep, they'll do pig. I should have it an attack where, you know, it attacks all the enemies at once, obviously, with magic. I wonder if this will get... I wonder if this will get them both. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Alright. One for Aerith's. One for Cloudy, old boy. Cloud's on 25. Eris is on 14. Remember, we have to do this sort of thing one more time to get from level 2 to level 3. But... We'll still have access to those level 2 limit breaks. <laughs> so like Cloud's um, level 2 limit breaks are Blade Beam and Klim Hazard. Both look visually nice, but they're not. They're... They're, they're not so great. They want a piece. Okay, one, two, three... 26 for Cloud, 
15 for Bronze Bangle, you motherless. Give me my bangle back. Thief. Dirty thief. Alright, so 15 for Ares, 26 for Cloud. As I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Cloud's level 3 is uh, Meteorian, Meteorain, and Finishing Touch. And those two in particular, they're very nice. And uh, for Ares level 2, they're kind of poo in my opinion. But her level 3 Planet Protector and Pulse of Life, they're very good. Pulse of Life, I believe, is like pretty much a full cure. And Planet Protector, I think, is like a huge um, defensive buff. 16 Aries, 27 Cloud. So yeah, the sooner I can get access to those level 3 limit breaks, the easier my life's going to be. And also, like I keep saying, I'm pretty sure that once you unlock it for the characters in your current party, you will not have to unlock it for others that come into your party later on the track. That's two more. Cloud's now at 29. That was kind of a superfluous uh, one. That's number 30 for Cloud. So I'll just... Yep. Look at him, look at him with that, that stupid bit of hair sticking out of his forehead. Looks silly. Silly boy. Uh oh. Okay, don't. Ether, Oh. Okay, got it off quick enough. Good. Could have been disastrous. I'm definitely a player that hoards their items though. So I'm probably gonna end up with like fucking 99 ether that I don't even touch. I'm disgusting. You know, like you go into the final battle and you got like, you know, seven mega elixirs. It's like, bruh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, uh, but I might need these, but the game is literally over after this particular fight. What are you what are you doing? I like to collect things. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's a compulsion. Sorry, I had to blow my nose in. Why doesn't the the the, uh, the floorboards creak after you do that little event? I don't I don't get it. All right, let's drop a save. Drop the save. That's already at level 11, damn. And Ares is at 9. Wow. You're growing up strong. The way this is going, I would say Cloud's going to reach it first. But it's, he has to get 120 enemies. That's a lot! I'm not going to lie, that's a lot of enemies. Let's give it Ares. Iron Bangle, you dirty, you dirty bee. 
Stop stealing my missable items. How dare you? Any time now. Any time now. Whenever you're ready. Stop trying to steal my riches. This one for Ares. Number 18. And number 32 for Cloud. We're gonna have like 10,000 gil quite easily. I would estimate maybe 20,000 gil. That'll probably help by the time we get to Calm. We can buy some of those big boy materia without breaking the bank. Without breaking the wank bank. Now, is this going to get two? Yep, one, two. Cloud. And, okay, number 19 for Ares. 34 for Cloud. Might just write something in the chat so that people know, one, that I'm not fucking around. <laughs> and two, they know what I'm actually doing. So... Right now, grinding to get to level 2 limit breaks for Cloud and Eris. Um, Cloud needs 20 enemy kills and Eris needs 